Hello, I'm Elizabeth Hashagan. And I'm Elisa DiStefano. So happy to have you join us here at the beautiful Ohika Castle on Long Island's Gold Coast. There's almost nothing like it, and I feel like I have to tell everyone that this is where you got married. Yeah, and I got engaged here too, so it's a really, really special um, place for me. And but as soon as you like just drive up the path and you oh. walk in, you see this just majestic staircase. It's just incredible. And there's, there's been so, so many inside. There's been so many things shot here. Yes. So many different movies, music videos, so you might recognize some of the places. Yes. All right, it's Christmas time. Uh, <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I, I'm so excited. Okay. I still have so much to do, but I'm so excited. Are you ready? I, I don't think I'm ever ready, but I'm ready. Okay, well now we want to take you inside with us and help you get ready for the big holiday too. I feel like I am inside Santa's pastry shop because this is you just are. other level incredible. Thank we you, wish Elizabeth. You could smell what it smells oh like in Lord. here. This is a part of Ohika Castle that not many people get to see, but I make sure every time I come here, this is my first stop to see Daniel Andriotti, who creates all of this and so much more. I cannot believe that that cake is sugar. The detail. All sugar. That's the prop that we're making for a Christmas display for upstairs. So we're gonna learn how to make that today. No. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna stick that, to the that's, basics. That's for advanced people only. <laughs> yeah. We have the video group We here. have the easy stuff here, yeah. But what kind of cookies? These are your specialty cookies for the These season? Are, yeah, I, I, because the castle's 100 years old this year, I decided to go back and do retro cookies. And they're actually retro Italian cookies. That doesn't really fit Ohika, but they fit me and my lifestyle and probably your lifestyle yeah. is also. So these are Cucinetti cookie, they're Italian um, Christmas or Easter cookies, depending on how you decorate them. Traditional biscotti, you may recognize them. These are chocolate gingerbread cookies, Ooh, chocolate and we're gonna bread. use all of these. I made them ahead for you ladies. We're gonna make the wreaths that we're gonna actually make here today. Using these cookies, we're gonna apply them to these, these broad circles of wood. These are cornflake cookies corn. that are made with cornflake and uh, just marshmallow and a stick of butter. Very easy, but you'll burn your hands, caution, Ooh. and not really for kids. Not for Gingerbread either. cookies and then traditional angel wings. They, they're called palmiers, and you know the French give everything a really fancy name. They're a really simple cookie that anyone could really make. And then my most my favorite, favorite is the snowflakes uh. that you see in the corner, and those are Italian pizzelle. And those are made one by one on a hot iron. They're, they're hard to make, but they're crispy and they taste like anisette. So we've taken a little trip back in, in vintage Italian And now you're gonna making. try to help yeah. the two of us? Well, well welcome to the, the bakery part. at Ovika Castle. <laughs> So this is the finished product, but we get to pretend to be pastry chefs. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. This is fun for all, Elizabeth. You're going to really enjoy making this. So you use this for what? For decoration? Or do you actually pick the cookies off and get to eat you it You know too? what? The, the fun thing about it is I hang this on my on my actual Christmas tree, and Christmas Eve, the kids just pull the cookies off of it, and they have okay. it as an as a in-between dessert. So it's really, it's really quite sturdy, and it'll hang beautifully. Oh, You'll see right there, worry, there's going to be some, that. yeah, that, that's the beauty of it. You can eat all the mistakes. <laughs> okay, so, so this the is bottom what we're piece make. part is actual wood? It's wood from okay. any craft store, and it's just a wreath maker. Okay, and then Let's I'm going to take this, this bag, has what, fondant? That it? one is no. royal icing. Royal so icing, how do you make this? Royal icing is whipped egg whites and uh, just a lot of confectioner sugar and a touch of water. It's universal glue. So it's just start just gluing. Start, this is your top. Is there like a... No, no pattern to it. Am you I do whatever it you want. Am I putting on the cookie or on Any the Any way that works. You can put okay. it on both or you can put it in between. And, and Elizabeth, you're going to do go all ahead. stars, or oh, no? I'm going to change it up, okay. but I'm doing layers. You could make sure oh, you make sure you make oh, some nice. off the wreath oh, too, okay. so that your okay. wreath is nice and Wait, full, you, like, like, like this, like Elisa. Yeah. Like go to the edge. You can go to the edge too. And they're Look, not going to fall off because they won't. this is going this is to gonna act dry as overnight, okay. and it's like it's better than crazy glue, actually. What kind of cookies are these? These are chocolate gingerbread cookies, and they're they're just a nicer version of the standard old-fashioned gingerbread cookie. They have a little more pizzazz, and they're spiced up beautifully. So you should definitely help yourself and eat one. So that's <laughs> the beauty so of the bakery. So I could make my own traditional Christmas cookies, but if I'm going to a cookie swap or something like that, I can right. put this in there. All right, so we're gonna add some more royal icing because that's 
Right. Really going to be the glue that keeps this all down. You're so tasting good. it. That's the universal it's pure sugar and egg white. Pure sugar. <laughs> yeah, you can get this oh, recipe on the web. One. Royal icing. Everything mm -hmm. is there. This was a good choice. I want to taste that yeah, one that's, too. That's, I've never had that one. <laughs> that's like corn awesome. flakes and marshmallow oh. and all the things that are good for you. Low protein and butter, you know. And it's really, that. it looks like stained glass when it's done. Elizabeth, there, your bag no, is really rice full. It's Rice Krispies, but it's like an upgraded Rice Krispies. That's Krispy what I treat, thought right? the same thing, and then I wasn't sure if that was root to It is, a, it, no, it is like a Rice Krispie treat, it's but delicious. it's, it it's definitely. It looks beautiful. It looks like, like a, like a yeah. real ornament. Well, use this on your, you can use one of these on oh, your good. wreath. You can decorate your wreath with a, with a wreath. Now, how long do I need to let this set before I try to Elizabeth, bring it somewhere? Elizabeth, overnight. Me. Oh, overnight. Overnight. Um, it'll dry rock hard. Will it? You should have no breakage. That's why we use the wood behind it, because it doesn't bend or give. Uh, you know, a, a true a true chef would probably bake the ring out of um, uh, gingerbread cookie itself. What do you itself. mean a true chef? Come on, you're the well, best. You are the best there is. is. Thank you. But this is a, a nice shortcut that anyone can enjoy, because when time is pressed and well, with the holidays and... And, 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 and covering gift packages with wrapping paper. Who needs to fuss around with all this stuff? I you'll, love it. You'll get oh, a good look. I think it looks Isn't so it beautiful? Nice. Yes. Just start, keep gluing. Keep this gluing, is, this keep is something gluing. anybody can going. make. And look guys, you don't have Tell to make me. your own gingerbread cookies. Just, just hit the supermarkets. You can go to Costco. They have them everywhere. Right. Get any kind of cookie. You can use butter cookies. You can include some angel wings. You can really make it a dessert. I love it. What okay, and we're also going to gonna make that. Now, tell me what that is before we start making it. That is going to be a dessert here at the castle that we're going to serve with Christmas dinner. And it's also going to be at my table, and it's my favorite. It's panettone Nutella bread pudding. Very rich. Wow. No skipping on calories there. It's full of cream and wow. and milk and eggs and a lot of sugar. Okay, and so. note to everyone at home, don't tilt your bag this oh. way. Oh, just Elizabeth, so you know. Look, you, Party you need, foul. You need, okay, you let's make to, the next one anyway. You need to you can eat your way through this. You need to keep it <laughs> oh, that is good. twisted tight. and okay. tight. Here, take mine, it's cleaner. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. That's why what I'm a professional and you guys yeah. We're learning. Learning. Just, We're just are here today. <laughs> We have alcohol and Nutella, so you know <laughs> this is a good recipe. Daniel, walk us through what this part is. I'm gonna this do is, this part. This okay. is the best. It has all the sinful cream and eggs in it, liquor, Nutella. So here we go. Rip, you rip that to shreds. Okay. I get one of these you, every you Christmas. You put eight, I never really you crack eight eggs in there. Eight? Eight eggs. Well, well, okay, a, 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 a cup, yeah. A cup and a half of, I'm gonna sneak over by you guys. We're I'm gonna, bad I'm gonna, oh, Sorry, okay. oh my God, I made a mess. <laughs> I have a three-year-old, I'm used to it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just spilled that. It's, 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 here we go, I'm so sorry. This is a recipe for disaster right here. I just wanna crack this over here. I think I should just step back. This is like the three stoogers. Of, okay, two and a half cups of milk. Okay. And here so we go. I lost count of the eggs. Yeah, well, I, I pre-counted for oh, you. Oh good, good, okay, good. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour in the sugar. That's one and a half oh. cups. Okay. Elisa, you can stir that after we blot off your, your beautiful dress. They just got That's okay. some cream that over. <laughs> it's adding it texture. Looks like snow, right? It yeah. is, it's Christmas. Okay, okay, so we have those that, ingredients and then what it. happens? That's and then it. You, you rip it to bits. Okay. And you put, put it. it you put it in here. Okay. All right, so now let's plate it by the magic right. of television. We have, I guess, baked it. You've baked it. And? And this is what you get. Okay. I'm still ripping while you're and doing here it. You go. I'm not sure why. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna cut that a nice nice piece. Right now is it's cathartic. There you go. On those gorgeous plates. We're gonna we're gonna use some I like it with creme anglaise, which tastes like vanilla ice cream. If you don't have creme anglaise, use vanilla ice cream. Yeah, because I don't have Melt creme it down. Anglaise. A I few like Christmas anglaise. red and green. Fancy. So a few raspberries. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. And a sprig of rosemary or a couple, whatever. And that's that's very oh, Christmas. Daniel, that's very thank Christmas you. Christmas. I don't taste it. We need oh, a fork. Good, yeah. good. A, a, uh, Pedro, forks. And we're going to put the recipe up on news12.com. Yeah. Ooh, it's you so can. Oh, there you go. Oh, OK. Thanks. Am I eating this? I guess I am. Little Nutella. Mm. How is it? Wow. Isn't that good? Wow. That's, I don't know what I was expecting, but I love not that. that. You never had I this? I love that. I never had that. Yeah. That's so 
I didn't even know what you were saying with that pea thing. Yeah, and the thing Fancy is, you can it. add amaretto or you can add wow. Nutella. You can, I just, you just plop it on. It's really as easy as this. You see, instead of putting amazing. it there, you can put it in there, but you, you rip it up. Um, can I move? I'll, I'll show you. you. You just rip this up and you put it in any, just by hand, you want, you want big chunks. So oh. it really, oh, it, no, it's I'm not, it's it. It's yeah. a, it, yeah. that works too. <laughs> in the bakery, we actually put it there. So where does the Nutella go? All right, Asking I'll, I'll show you. Okay. Just for your own, for your own, sure, sure. not for TV, because okay. I think you're gonna make this. I'm totally making this. This is, this is easy, and it's really impressive. People think. It's really delicious. Yeah, and you can get these for a few bucks anywhere. So you just leave it in big globs. I never know what to do, I just make French toast out of it. You can, but this really? is fancy French toast. Um. You know, leave it to the Italians to make it mm -hmm. sinful. Okay, you do that. So you kind of go like this. Just kind of oh. really glob it. There's no precision here. Oh, then I'm gonna be good at that. That's it, and put as much of it or as mm -hmm. little of it as you want all over it. And then it's as easy as I mean, if you really like Nutella, go for it. Right. I really but like that, Nutella. That and then we do? pour right, the eggs and sugar and heavy cream and milk on top of it? On top of it. And oh. that's it. And you bake <laughs> it. Put it in pour it. You want to cover like that? it. That's it. Right on. Right on. Ooh, with the pieces wow. that we We're put higher. in there that, That's okay. <laughs> you can do it either way. In the bakery, when we do the big sheet pans, we do it in a big bowl, wet, and then we put it in. So you can do it either yeah, way. See, okay. bakers. This yeah. is, we this is the easier. Way. And then you just, you, just, you just put it in the oven. It takes about an hour and a half at 300 degrees so it doesn't burn. But bake it with foil first for the first hour and then the last half hour. You take the foil off and you let it golden up and crisp up beautifully. It looks and that's what gorgeous. you get. But it tastes better than it looks. So I think it's really, I think it's an impressive it's, dessert. It's really good. But did you see how fast we made it? That's yeah, all it takes. That's true. That was two minutes. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, you can make it in five minutes at your house. Mm -hmm.